Scarlet? Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you this late. I'm looking for my child. He wandered off and I think he's somewhere around the area. I'm sorry, I just got home. Would you mind helping me look? Nobody's answering their doors and I'm afraid something will happen to them. I really can't. I'm expecting someone any minute. I could really use another set of eyes. Please. I'm sure there are other people home who can help you. I'm sorry. Can I at least give you a picture of them? Just in case. Sure, but I'm terrible with faces. Just slipping under the door. Isn't it beautiful? If you can just keep an eye out for him, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. Good luck. I'm still setting up. And hey, when you get here, I have to show you this picture this woman gave me. She came looking for her kid. No, really, it's fine. Just hurry up. Okay, let me do it. Bye. me again. Any luck? Unfortunately, no. Can I ask a favor of you? What is it? Nobody else is answering their doors. I was wondering if you have a flashlight I could borrow. They'll know it's me if you see it. I'm sorry, I don't think I have Please. one. Nobody else will help us. You really need to ask someone else. I told you I can't He's help only you. only five years old. He's my only child. Please. You could just look. I'll be right back. This is really old. I can't guarantee it'll work. Thank you so much. Sorry to bother you. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner. Call Scarlett Jones. Hey, are you almost here? The woman came back again and I just, I just feel weird. She said something kind of strange. Okay, just hurry up. Okay. Okay.
right now or I'm calling the police. Please, you need to help. Get away from my door. You can't leave us out here. Can't you see he needs help? Please. Open the door. Take your pill this morning. It's Rosemary. I'm gonna have to stay the night again. Again? Uh huh. Deadline's tomorrow. It's the biggest project of the quarter. Boss is asking the whole team to uh, burn the midnight oil. you not to take too many of those fucking pills. I'm gonna be late now. Make sure you clean all this up.
shadows of... Wait, John! No! Get out! Now Get out of there! Go! Go! Pray. Oh, look! It's a hackstone. Someone just went on this thing? It's supposed to bring good luck. It could use some good luck. If you look through it, you're supposed to see other worlds. Oh, yeah? You want to try it out?
I help you? How much for the book? Afraid this particular book is not for sale. Then why is it here? Choking. No. Mason, I have to tell you this. My dream. I... I was down here in the kitchen. And the wind was blowing really loudly, so I looked out the window. And the trees were being ripped apart. The wind just got louder and louder until it was painful. And then it just stopped. And it got dark. And then I felt something near me. I couldn't see it though. I could just, I could just feel it. It's a disturbing dream, sweetheart.
It was just a dream. Right? Come on, let's go back to bed.
Wake up. And it's not following me anymore. The other morning when we were at the motel, you said that it's not following you anymore. You went, Never mind, just forget I said anything. The seeing hole. The seeing hole from the stone. That's what was following me. And I never said it was gone. Are you saying the stone is still here? I threw it out, Pamela. I threw it away. No. It's right here. There seems to be nothing wrong with her physically, Mason, but we'd like to keep it for a day or two for psych observation. Is that okay with you? Sir, can I come in, please? What is it you want? We're closed. I need your help. Help? Regarding what? Hey. Hey, where are you going? I need your help. So, you've decided to return what you've taken. 
Something happened to Pamela. I just thought that... And you thought what, exactly? I thought you would know something about the book. Maybe it had something to do... Yes, it belongs to me. I didn't know she had taken it. It's just a book. Any recipes or spells in it are just for fun. You're a liar. Listen. Some strange things are happening to my girlfriend, Pamela. I need your help. I've never believed in this kind of thing before, but I think I'm starting to. In between that weird book and that creepy hagstone, she seems to think things are following her. She thinks it's a stone. Yes. A stone. She's had it for a while now. Then she started sleeping with it. Recently, it started to freak me out, but now she's going berserk over it. Now she seems to think something's following her. Can you tell me anything? Did you see this something? No. I mean, I don't know. I did feel something. Something cold. You should distance yourself from her. What? You should distance yourself from me. Leave. But, Pamela... Now! What? nerves are in perfect condition. I'm not going to refer her to the optometrist, but I'm going to give you the number to a psychotherapist. Pamela's issues are rooted somewhere in her mind. Her affliction is real, Mason, even if it's not apparent to us. Why is she wearing those? different cichlids alone, all of which evolved from just one single ancestor isolated here thousands of years ago.
shit, Pam. You scared the hell out of me. Are you feeling any better? I can see now, Mason. What? I can see now. As you can see, it's complete pandemonium and chaos in the streets. I thank you for allowing me to be your, your final newscaster here on Channel 4 News. I trust that everyone is with their loved ones or doing what they love or making love. For me, it's even, oh my God. It's happening.
Apocalypse. Yeah, right. Why are people so asinine? I mean, this isn't the first time we tried to predict the end of the world. Now, I remember this whole Mayan calendar crap a few years ago. You know, it had everyone turning into preppers. Well, I think it's just, well, stupid how so many people can put so much thought into the end, uh, over the present. And now, here I am, 2015, January 1st, and, uh, no end of the world, no UFOs, solar flares, no comet, and, uh, no return of Cthulhu. Nope. It's just me, and my cubicle, and another shitty day. paradise we call East Prairie, and there isn't a lot of surprises this week. We're going to have some highs in the upper 70s, and things are going to cool down in the lower 60s. We're I wonder if they'd notice if I didn't show up today. Business is business as usual, I'd like to always say. Everstone Medical has once again surpassed x Tech as the world's most valuable company after the release of their new medication, Absorvital, that has been proven to eradicate autism within children and adults. Yes, and x stock has been on the decline what since... What in the hell is that? Wednesday ...suggested that its fast-growth phase, rare for a company of its size, may be coming to an end. Speaking of coming to an end, there has been speculation... Wednesday suggested that its fast growth phase, rare for a company of its size, may be coming to an end. Speaking of coming to an end, there has been speculation of just that as it pertains to the world. We may have narrowly escaped Armageddon a little over two years ago from the supposed Mayan prediction. I don't remember having a box. God, I'm losing it today. Speculations have gone on to say that a local conglomerate ironically made the same lives may be the cause of said apocalypse. Skepticism has run heavy over this story since its announcement. We actually go live to Morgan Middlebrook, our man on the street, as he gives us a look on how the city has been taking the news of possible imminent death. me for this. Know it. Scene. <laughs> another day of being alive after the apocalypse scares. Yes, yet another prediction has. to building self-motivation. How to motivate yourself written by Rob Fladry. You have no personality, low self-esteem, and have driven yourself into a safe, routine life. And if you want to excel, you need to remember these three steps. Have a cause, be hungry, and let go of the past. Step one, I can't think of a more powerful source of motivation than a cause that you care about. Such cause can inspire you to give your best, even in the face of adversity. It can make you do the seeming... Watch where you're... <sighs> Just going. Shut up, Julian. Shut up and walk away. Oh my god, she's beautiful. Why is she just staring at me? Crap, not this guy. Every morning. 
No, I, I want to get an email to... Uh, Why must you get in the elevator with me? I wonder if he senses the awkwardness of these elevator rides, so he fakes phone conversations. Um, yeah, sure, I'll just hit a button that you normally can hit yourself. Sure, no, no, no problem. No, no, not at all. You're the boss. I'm just another slave to your grindstone. <sighs> Swear. Catch a Bucks game this right? No, I'm kidding. Oh, Dean. Oh. Alright, yeah, no. Watch out. But... Yeah, uh huh. Oh. She's still out there. What, what, what is she doing with that teddy bear? What in the hell? Tonight we are live on the streets where you can see people are in celebration of another day of being alive. After the recent apocalypse here. Yes, it is true. Yet another prediction has been debunked. People are excited, Tom. People are excited. has been debunked, giving us all another reason to appreciate the lives that we live. Now, let's see if we can't pull some people off the street and get their opinion on here. Ma'am, 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 how do you feel about tonight? I'm very yes, excited about tonight. if I didn't show up.
Steps to Building Self-Motivation. How to Motivate Yourself, written by Rob Fladry. Step two, being hungry. Wanting something is not enough. You must hunger for it. Having mere desire won't take you through the difficult times since you don't want things badly. Thanks for calling Everstone uh, Medical Tech Support. This is Julian speaking. Can I have your account number, please? Can I have your first and last name, please? Do you have a number I can reach you in case we get disconnected? Is there a secondary number I can reach you in case I can't reach you there? How can I help you today? Morning. Thank you for I don't know why I can't stop thinking about her. There's just something about her. What is your first and last name, please? Uh, do you have a number I can reach you in case we get disconnected? Is there a secondary number I can reach you in case I can't reach you there? Too many calls today. so awkward all the time. I mean, lions, they're not awkward. I was shocked too. Just to see someone. I know this sounds crazy. I can't imagine what you must be going through. It's kind of nice to not be talking to the wind or inanimate objects around me. I mean, you're here and I'm here. I remember when I couldn't even pass by people just walking down the street. <sighs> Painful memory to bring up. Walking hand in hand. I know you're in there, just answer the door, damn it.
News anchors Giancarlo Hernandez, Michelle Lynn, and our man on the street, Morgan Middlebrook. So I can show you just how much I like you. How much. Steps to building self-motivation. How to motivate. This is it. She's talking. And I'm talking. You stroll down the street with this dumb look on your face. You come over to this yeah. newspaper stand, what grab it, that newspaper, and what? go into this building. Oh, do not mess this up, Julian. Do not mess this up. With the same dumb look. Yeah, but What, I... are, are you stupid or something? No. What are you I... even doing there? I'm just going to work. <sighs> work? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, work? What? What? I know I'm supposed to be paying attention to her right now. God, she's beautiful. She's so... Wait, what did she say? There is no more work. There are no people. There's just... You and me. I am standing here in downtown with one minute away from the moment of destruction. As you can see, it's complete pandemonium and chaos in the streets. I thank you for allowing me to be your, your final newscaster here on Channel 4 News. I trust that everyone is with their loved ones. Or doing what they love, or making love. For me, it's even. Oh my god. It's happening. Apocalypse. Yeah, right.